So this is the final house tour. Um, I'm just really excited that everything's done. I know this is a year overdue. But as you know, you see this beautiful porch. We have our side garden. We have the front beautiful hydrangeas looking absolutely gorgeous. The softened fascia looks pristine. Everything is looking absolutely gorgeous. And I'm happy where we are right now with the project. Of course, there's so many more things that we can do, but everything is just looking beautiful. And I took uh, this video at the time where, you know, the, the cannas were looking so beautiful and they were in bloom. Just everything looked perfect. And I'm glad I was able to do this tour before I moved. And um, yeah. So this is the last home tour before I leave. Um, I'm actually leaving my hum humble abode, but I am keeping my house. So as soon as you walk in, you walk into um, kind of this this uh, mirror that my grandmother got me, or excuse me, she bought it for herself, and then uh, my mom passed it on to me, as well as this, um, I guess, kind of cabinet. The record player I bought myself from Amazon. Um, I also bought the two vases on either side and then put faux flowers in it. Just looks really nice. <clears throat> as soon as you come in, there's an IKEA Pax closet system. So you can put your coats and everything in there and it fits really nice. It doesn't block the window. Um, <clears throat> and in it, you can have different options when it comes down to the doors. All right, then we swing around to the living room. And in the living room, I have a little bit of, you know, um, everything that I've collected over the years. <clears throat> but the biggest thing is that the fireplace used to be covered with this faux brick at the very bottom, as well as um, plaster at the top. So we removed the plaster and then we found the historical bricks built out um, down in the basement, excuse me, there were extra bricks. We built out the uh, fireplace and then re put uh, and then put the mantle back on there. Um, the chairs in here, the big white ones, are from Restoration Hardware. The uh, ottoman I bought from Wayfair, but I recovered with fabric that I end up finding um, at Joanna Fabrics. The rug I end up buying um, somewhere in the Middle East, uh, but it's a silk rug. And as you move around it, it changed different colors. The couch I ended up buying from Wayfair. It is a super duper long couch. The pillows I got from Home Goods, as well as the throw, and the blinds I bought from Lowe's, but they sell the same ones in um, Home Depot. Just find the best um, price offer. The cabinet I actually bought from Ashley Furniture. Um, I don't remember where that lamp came from. And then, uh, of course, more faux flowers, but I like the brightness and the color of my little flowers and then you swing around to this area um so many of years i repainted this or you know i bought it from a store called at home and the doors on the front of this cabinet were broken i removed those doors sanded it down it was like a weathered look i didn't really like it sanded it down stained it uh this pretty honey color and then um end up doing all of the um artwork on it myself and then I have candles down here, kind of like set up like, you know, a little bit of a fireplace. So when I get back to condo and apartment living, that's how it will be. That's Shadow's toy, but underneath there, underneath that basket to hide all the modems, that's what I have right there, I have my magazines. And then so we go into the sitting room. So one thing is in here, everything is still plastered. The walls, the ceiling, everything is still plastered. So this room is not insulated. So this is probably like the coldest room. But the light fixture, I end up purchasing from um, Habitat for Humanity Restore. And you could go there and buy things a lot cheaper than you would be able to buy it in like a regular store. So I end up buying it for $35. Uh, the hanging planters are on either side of the couch. I end up purchasing um, many of years ago. Don't remember where I got the planters or any of the stuff. So, But you can find it on like Amazon and Wayfair. There's many other options. The couch uh, used to belong to my grandmother, um, and the chairs I bought, uh, well, they came from Egypt, um, but I bought them on my mini travels, and uh, the rug, 
I bought many of years ago. It was a store on eBay that used to sell it, but the reason why I like it is because it is embossed. Both chairs are like this, so I really like it. So the reason why I'm not sharing, showing you some parts is because I'm in the middle of packing, so that's the reason why. So that is my packing junk and mess. And there's another cabinet. Oh, that box is driving me crazy right there. <laughs> Stairs, I put the um, carpet on there myself. I bought the carpet from Wayfair. And then this is another cabinet that we that I have. And um, again, storage. The reason why I have all this stuff out is because I'm in the middle of packing. So that's the reason why I'm like trying to do this tour. We have shadow on a ledge <laughs> and then my little plant. But then here goes the kitchen. So if you remember and you've been following me, this kitchen was two separate rooms. There was a wall that went down the middle of this room. This was a closet that was built out right here, closet. And then the door didn't exist, it was a window right there. So we demolished all of that and made it one large kitchen. And I am pretty happy with my kitchen. I'm very happy. I forgot to take the, uh, I meant to take my little air fryer <laughs> off the cabinet, but yeah. So you got the um, blue willow, a lot of blue willow design, uh, floating shelves on either side. Um, the reason why I mounted them higher is because I end up getting more shelf room as opposed to if I hung the floating shelves right here. So that was design decision or even down here that would have been in the way with me cooking and placing things on the shelf. So placing a little bit higher out of the way was a great thing. End up buying the cabinets from cabinets.com. Um, getting the layout, they have designers there for you to use. I know I am not sponsored by them, but yeah. The door pulls I bought years ago and they're pretty expensive because they have this like, you know, this little piece right here. They're pretty heavy, um, but I don't remember where I bought them from. And then, yeah, the island itself is blue. And I did a farmhouse sink uh, bought the farmhouse sink from Amazon and this is uh, a two-sided sink so you can either do this side which is bumpy um, and I like that texture or you could do the other side which is more you know flat it's just flat and shiny uh, but I wanted a little bit more texture I bought this faucet also for Amazon um, and then uh, what I end up doing this this was a hand soap dispenser right here as well end up taking the label off using some goo off and then putting um my dawn dish soap in there and then i have refills for the uh lemon um verbena and then you got the dishwasher i love these drawers um i'm trying to think of which one is clean it's probably the bottom one <laughs> because you can see everything you can see all the way to the back of the drawer and that's what i really 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 like about these drawers and then we go to this accoutrement here, out in the back. So when you walked into this room, this was covered with plaster, and then there was a closet that was built out right here. And um, I want the closet to go, and I wanted all the plaster to go. Once we removed the plaster, we ended up finding this uh, beautiful brickwork, and then we realized there was a chimney. Now, since then, the chimney above has been removed. We reutilized those bricks in many places that the brick has filled in the house so great thing is that those bricks didn't go you know unused but what i'm thinking it used to be a pot belly stove right here and then vent out right here through the chimney uh, but anyways i decided to use it as a rack uh wine kind of area um and then over here i bought this from ikea this is a billy bookcase and with again blue willow design um, and then some of the, you know, that green cabbage in there, um, plates down there at the bottom. You can see Shadow is following me. And this is not Blue Willow design. This is something that my mother bought me, but I thought it went really well with the design of everything. So you go in here, this is where the kitchen would have been. So the kitchen would have been starting right here and then all the way down here. I think you may have had cabinets over here as well, but luckily all those cabinets well this room caught on fire there you know there was a washer dryer here so i'm not the new one putting a washer dryer in 
and the whole entire first floor caught on fire and so we had to rebuild everything I do have a storage cabinet that we put right here and then as well as washer dryer system um, right here I, I'm doing real life and that's you know <laughs> uh, everything was redone all the electrical was redone and so I have all new LED lights, which makes it a lot more energy efficient. Um, I utilize storage space to its max. And this little cabinet right here stores, you know, my broom and mop and things of that nature. So that's what is stored right there. Um, and then this is also Shadow's kind of area. Um, that's the reason why he's driving me crazy and meowing a lot. And then so we leave here and then we go to the bathroom. I love the wallpaper in the bathroom and I really, really am happy with how the bathroom turned out. Um, I I'm, I didn't picture it to be like this, but I am happy. Um, obviously I have vacuums real life here. <laughs> so originally the door was not, excuse me, door was not on this side right here. The door was on the other side right here. And so essentially you would have to go through a door to get to this door to open up the bathroom and that just didn't make sense to me so instead we relocated the door to this side because it's right next to the back door so you come into the back door go straight into the bathroom or you could come in from the front door where you can see all my mess and come straight into this room so yeah you see my stalker hey stalker hey hey my little stalker Started you in the front room. This is the front door. You come in, and this is the live room as a reminder. Yeah. So we go from the live room into the dining room. And oh, mind you, I have pocket doors on these doors as well as over here. There's pocket doors. Um, <clears throat> and they do work, they do close. I just have them semi open. But the same case over here. I'm trying to hide my Peloton that I have hidden over there. <laughs> but the same case over here, I had plaster over the fireplace completely and we removed the plaster. Um, we tried to ask that wash this down part right here where it's black with full of soot. They did get a lot of it off. So mind you, all my fireplaces used to be coal burning fireplaces. Um, unfortunately, since they're coal burning fireplaces, they could not be converted to gas or electric and I'll show you in a second. But <clears throat> this whole entire downstairs level got new drywall. Um, there's a new HVAC system um, down below uh, that feeds this floor for heating and cooling. <clears throat> and uh, all new LED lights, new light fixtures, everything. Because all electrical had to be um, removed, uh, the old one, and then uh, the knob and tube. And then replaced with new electrical up to standard cold today. Just because of that electrical fire. A plus knob and tube is very dangerous. So the reason why you can't convert these is because it's so narrow. You see how narrow that fireplace is? So it wasn't enough room. Um, obviously, if you put a fire in here, you're literally having a fire in your house. And then these fireplaces weren't adequate enough to vent out a wood-burning fireplace. And then if I try to do... Um, uh, what was it, the other one? Uh, gas, the same problem is because it's just too narrow. Uh, so the fire marshal deemed this like unsafe to do that. But the great thing is that I could still see the historical brick. It's absolutely be beautiful, fabulous. We close off with, again, utilizing the brick from the chimney. We end up closing off the, um, the access down from the basement as well as up. So we don't ever plan, well, I don't ever plan to use it um you know for any other purposes other than just it's beautiful it's beautiful mantle and you know that's it so again living room we come to this room all the time <laughs> and we're leaving it and then we're headed upstairs and turn off my lights as i go up this door was always here it's great because you can shut off the um, door downstairs and upstairs and these uh, there's a separate HVAC unit up here so there's one in the attic that feeds this floor and then again the carpet on the stairs I put in myself so we're gonna start with a very back room here so 
This is um, the first spare bedroom or the first bedroom that I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> In here, I put my bed that I used to have as master bedroom, but I wanted a king bed, so had to move. Um, I used to have this centered in the room right here, but because I end up putting these Pax closet systems in right here, end up having to shift the bed over just so that it's a little bit more comfortable so that when you open up the door, you know, you can actually have access. I love this closet because, you know, you got two racks of hanging space. You have, um, a shoe rack and then that's just an extra bin for other things if you want to. So that's a 39 inch and then this one is 19 inches. And this one just has um, shelves in it. So you got the Ikea Pax closet system. You have tables on either side. I do remember I bought these from Tuesday morning years ago um, because one of them is damaged and I got them for a discount. So that's a great thing. Um, <clears throat> I bought that when I was uh, up in Alaska living up there. Um, but yeah, I have stuff from every, every little bit of everywhere in here. Um, and then, uh, the windows are original. The trim is original. So we kept all of that, but eventually I need somebody to come in and sand down and then re-steam the windows. But it's, it brings a lot of light into this room and you have a great view of all the trees up here, kind of like a canopy of trees and it's absolutely beautiful. So <clears throat> that's absolutely perfect. In this room, we also kept the transom. Um, so all the bedrooms have these. So essentially back in the day, if you wanted some cir air circulation, you would open up the, the uh, transom at the top and get some circulation. And this one does still work. You just tighten this and then you use the bar to open and close this. So this system actually still works and it's functioning. And it's the original wood. So originally, you come straight out of the bedroom and walk across the hall. I think I need to back up. You come straight out of that bedroom that we were just in, walk across the hall, and there was a door that led into the bathroom. So that was the only bathroom on this level. Um, I ended up putting a storage closet there because I just didn't want a turn to go nowhere. But it's great because that's my linen closet. And this is the bathroom that I end up creating. Oh, why did I turn on the fan? Turn off the fan. <laughs> so this is the bathroom that I created from the hall um, closet. So this was one closet. And then this bedroom that we're about to go into next, this is the closet that belongs to that room. And um, we end up combining them together, making essentially that closet a shower. And since this is a very tight bathroom, we end up having to have, you know, kind of the barn style you know, and then um, door, shower doors, and then um, all of the beautiful gold. So I bought that from Home Depot or Lowe's, and then I bought this from Ikea. And then this actually is, it's called Vigro, V-I, is that what it is? Anyways, that's the brand, and that's the model. So if you're looking for it, great. Another toilet paper holder. I like the two-sided one. Um, and then this is the tiniest sink that I could ever find because we needed a small narrow sink so that you can come into the bathroom very comfortably. The sink is, uh, I think 14 inches, like from, from the back of it all the way to the front of it. <clears throat> Though mirror, I bought, you know, one of my many of travels and shopping trips and then I end up putting it in here. Uh, the towels and the, the floating shelves, I end up getting um, stair tread from Lowe's and Hope Depot. It's like $10.98, so about $11 for a stair tread. You cut it in half, stain it, paint it, do whatever you want with it. I end up just uh, sealing these with clear coat and then mounting them to these brackets that I bought from um, Lowe's. Uh, so, yeah, very simple, very easy. And then the gooseneck um, light fixture is the the secondary one from the one downstairs in the uh, powder room. So essentially, it come in a pack of two, this is the second one. And then you have your fan. Make sure you have a vent. And then every room has LED lighting if I don't show you that. Um, and then the hardware is from, 
good. Yeah, I bought that from Amazon as well. All the front of, of the doors are painted blue. And then if you notice, I've been keeping the back of the doors in the original wood. And then I changed out all of the hardware. So it was hard to find more tees. I think it's called Mort Mortis or more tees locks. And I had to find all of these. Um, and I really like the crystal handles. So that was a little bit hard to find. I have many, many of doors in this house. So <laughs> now we're going to go into the bedroom across the hallway. So mind you, um, this bedroom has changed because there used to be two twin beds in here. But since um, I was moving, I sold those twin beds. But end up decorating it for um, one of my friends that came here and visited uh, for the holidays. And it's just a simply a blow-up mattress. And then I used the two, two side tables that I've already had, which were... Uh, from Ikea and um, the rug is the baby to the big rug downstairs and then the desk and chairs from Ikea um, and then the throw is from home goods and then you know I bought some additional accoutrement on top of the fireplace end up painting the fireplace gray uh, I think the Sun comes in better over here I think you can see a lot better over on this side but the fireplace was um the same color as the trim here which was very dark and it made the room look very dark inside by simply painting painting it a gray color it lightened up this room significantly so i really like how it is and then i added that piece that piece did not exist <laughs> and so i added it and i think it looks absolutely amazing again this was another um fireplace that was closed off because we can't use the fireplaces in here um and then I have a fandelier. The fandelier is absolutely amazing. So these blades, the clear blades come out and provide some air circulation if needed. But for the most part, it's just, you know, it's just beautiful. I really, really, really love and enjoy this. And so that's this room. And then on either side, again, I'm packing. That's the reason why I'm trying not to show you that stuff. On either side, there's these Pax Ikea closet systems. And then in the middle, I, this is um, another Ikea kind of thing, but there are, you could put your shoes in here. So this is for shoe storage in here. Um, and then this one, this room also has a transom. So same thing. And then we walk across the hallway to uh, the master bedroom. And I also have another fandelier. I did all different fandeliers, but essentially every room has a fandelier. And then the master bed, which has a, uh, just bought like I told you is from um, Wayfair that's where I bought it from but it's obviously not Wayfair brand but I really like the cane and I really like the detail of this master bed it's absolutely beautiful um, but I bought it because it goes against the window I still wanted the light in from the window and not to be blocked or prohibited so that's what I did and all of the molding was not original I actually added all of this molding at the very top and to me, it matched the molding on the outside of the house. Um, uh, so I just, this is called dental molding, by the way. So I just decided that's what I'll do. And I, I absolutely love it. Um, the fireplace in here, I ended up doing an electrical insert. I did an electrical insert downstairs as well. This one is a little bit different than the one downstairs. Let's turn that one on. This one does produce heat. But it's just one setting, doesn't change colors. It's just, you know, the same kind of look. And then you move over here, which used to be a, a wall that went down here. So this was a structural wall that we end up putting a beam. And when I say we, I mean my contractors and then me making the decision. Uh, put a beam in so that it supported the weight of the room. I mean, excuse me, the roof above. <laughs> and then... On either side, I have Ikea Pax closet system on this side as well as on this side. And then all of uh, my clothes are hung up um, in the center there. And yes, I have shoes for days. And again, we saved the door with the transom on it. That door did not originally have it, but we added it in. I think it looks good. My uh, contractor did a really good job with it. And then we enter... So this used to be a closet, like I said. Just this little part right here used to be a closet. This used to be a hallway, and then this was another closet that you access from the hallway.
and <clears throat> all of my mess underneath. But there's uh, these two mirrors that I end up buying. I don't even remember where I bought these from. I think I bought them from at home. They were so heavy. They're st I mean, they're still heavy. They're very, very heavy. Um, the two gold light fixtures above I bought from Ikea. Uh, this is actually a furniture piece, like a TV, not TV console, but like, like a furniture console, but I wanted something very narrow. I want it um, to not take up too much space in the bathroom because um, the bathroom wasn't wide at that point. And so um, essentially what I end up doing is utilizing a piece of furniture that I had and utilizing these bowls right here uh, that I purchased again from Ikea <laughs> as well as the hardware. And um, this is, you know, you can just uh, convert a piece of furniture into your vanity and um, I think it worked out really well and then behind the door you have the cloth foot tub that was hidden this is the tub right here and uh, this cloth foot tub was hidden it was always in this spot but it was just hidden by this blue ugly uh, tile and it was like built up around it and I think it looks absolutely beautiful why would you hide it and not share this with the world but I think it's absolutely beautiful and amazing Um, again, you have the two sinks, um, this letter I bought from Ikea. I love it because you can put all your towels on there and then the same exact door as the guest bathroom, as well as the hardware and the shower. And, uh, I think it just, it turned out really beautiful. The, the door for the bathroom usually came, I mean, originally came in here and then there was a blue shower that was like right here, but I ended up making the whole space, my shower. Um, there's a bench in here um, and then when you look up straight on there is you know a beautiful tile piece like you know kind of a statement piece and then this was <laughs> the vein right here to get um, this pole because there is a pole that goes from here all the way down it's not structural it was just so that we can uh, put this in so that was a little bit difficult and a little bit hard Shadow, shadow, shadow. Can you stop messing with my stuff? Thank you, please and thank you. Absolutely. Like, <laughs> he's just being a jerk just because he can. So knowing that I'm about to move, I'm about to, you know, put it on rental and all that stuff. Um, and, you know, it's really hard to leave when all your hard work is done and you've accomplished a lot but you have to understand it's time it's time to move on and it's okay but i enjoyed this process it was very stressful i'm not gonna lie this is not for the faint heart if you are not ready or prepared for it i would highly advise just get a professional company to do everything don't try to do some projects like i did but um this was definitely a rewarding experience and I'm about to go downstairs so I can feed this crazy cat. 